From Nembe in Bayelsa State to Ohara in Delta State, the war on crude oil theft is on and the industry-wide security collaboration continues to record remarkable progress. Following the receipt of credible intelligence, private security contractor engaged by NNPC Limited, Tantita Security Services, intercepted a suspicious vessel with cargo of crude oil on board on the 7th of July 2023. The vessel, MT Tura 2, owned by a Nigerian registered company, Holab Maritime Services Limited, with registration number RC813311, was heading to Cameroon with the cargo on board when it was apprehended at an offshore location. Preliminary investigations revealed that the crude oil cargo on board was illegally sourced from a well jacket offshore Ondo State. There was no valid documentation for the vessel or the crude oil cargo on board at the time of the arrest. Further investigation into the activities of the vessel at the Command and Control Center also revealed that the vessel has been operating in stealth mode for the last 12 years. Between the 1st to 7th of July 2023, a total of 156 incidents were recorded. 64 illegal connections were uncovered in the past week, mostly in Brass and Nembe in Bayelsa State, where disconnections and repairs are ongoing. 77 illegal refineries were discovered and destroyed in areas such as Emoha in River State, Ogara, Oarefe in Delta State, and Eduwini in Bayelsa State. In these locations, thriving illegal businesses have been brought to a halt. 22 cases of pipeline vandalism were also recorded and are being repaired. 12 automatic identification system infractions were flagged using NNPC's Maritime Intelligence System and have been escalated to the Navy through NNPC's Incident Management and Reporting application. 16 wooden boats used to convey stolen crude were confiscated in the past week, some in Bolo River State, while four cases of oil spill and pipeline vandalism were recorded in Bayelsa State and is being addressed. 76 of these incidents were recorded in the central region of the Niger Delta. 43 were recorded in the eastern region, while 64 took place in the western part of the Niger Delta's oil-producing region and 12 in the deep blue water. For NNPC Limited, there is no backing down on the war on crude oil theft until the menace is eradicated for good. Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. I'm your host, Edi Kanobot, and this is Isaac News. So today we have something very exciting and very interesting for you. As you've already seen from the except video from NNPC, you know, we're going to be talking about the war on crude oil theft and, you know, the progress that has been made so far, you know, by on the part of the government, on the part of NNPC and the private um, security services that they've contracted to help them, you know, scout the waters, the waterways, the creeks, you know, the Niger Delta region in order to find illegal connections and to, you know, um, seize vessels and boats who are, you know, operating and operating and carrying out illegal crude oil refining so i want to start at the beginning of the video to talk about why the government is you know being very hard on crude oil refining and it's not being hard on artisanal miners we need to understand the difference artisanal miners in nigeria what they do is they go to the site or whatever they want to mine they get their own instrument their implement they go down there they drill the soil the boreholes if they are you know looking for tin you are looking for iron or copper they go down to the site and dig the ground and extract this um rare earth element these minerals themselves they um get it out sieve out the sand the excess dirt themselves they we they refine it or they process it or whatever they do they do it themselves without aid from the government and then they go ahead to sell it now people that carry out illegal refining what they do is they steal crude oil from the government they are stealing crude oil with all these illegal conditions they are stealing crude oil that the government is spending money to drill either offshore or onshore and then they are going to refine it so if nigerians which we can't the people who are doing this refining cannot they don't have the skill or the money to set up an oil rig and to drill oil but if they could set up an oil rig and drill oil from the ground then they could then refine it without issues from the federal government. But that can't happen. So they should not be stealing the crude oil. They should find a way to drill it themselves. Other than that, they should leave it alone to be run by the government. Now, I'm not saying that the government is running it perfectly or that the money is being used perfectly 
or that there is no corruption involved in the whole oil and gas industry. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that crude oil refining is theft. They are stealing the crude oil. That's the issues. That's the reason why the government can never license, can never bring these guys into the um, refining sector. Because they are stealing the crude oil. They should drill it and refine it themselves if they want to lay claim to this property. Now, that being said, um, just last week, you, you know, um, NNPC, through its um, private security, you know, made a very huge, you know, um, bust, crude oil bust, you know, on uh, Nigerian waterways. So, a particular car ship was carrying cargo from Nigeria to a particular port, be it Tinkan Island port or Papa port in Lagos. And this, you know, shipment was bound for Cameroon. Now, dummies south in this ship was an 800,000 capacity tank that can carry 800,000 liters of crude oil or 800,000 liters of liquid. So this was a very big tank. And this tank was in the ship, heading for the port, heading for Cameroon. So credible intelligence, you know, had it that, you know, there was a, a lot of stuff, illegal stuff in that ship. And this ship is registered to a Nigerian company. So the security agencies, you know, went there, um, you know, seized the ship, went and made their, you know, findings, their searches, and they found crude oil in an 800,000 capacity tank. Now, we're not saying that the crude oil in this tank was 800,000 liters. Or we're saying that the tank had this 800,000 capacity, and there was a lot of crude in that tank. Now, what's the commensurate value, you know, um, in barrels per day? So, when you divide 800,000, you know, 800,000 liters, you know, with 159 or 160, you're going to have a figure, you know, that would be approximate to 5,000 barrels. So what this ship was kind of was 5,000 barrels of crude oil is what was stolen and was about to be shipped to Cameroon for maybe illegal refining or whatever they want to do it in Cameroon. Uh, um, okay, yes, Cameroon has a refinery. So yes, they would have taken it to the Cameroon refinery and refined it and used it in their, you know, in their country, in their space. So this vessel was seized and then the vessel, the ship was destroyed. I don't know if the crude oil was destroyed because... Um, on a regular basis, what happens is that whenever they get crude oil, since they cannot account um, specifically from where the crude oil was being sourced, or do reports have it that it was sourced or stolen from you know pipelines in all those states, but then you, you may not know which particular um, company to get this crude oil back to. So the crude oil is usually being burnt, which is not good for the environment. It's not the best thing to do, but this is what happens, and then the vessel will be destroyed. Alongside that, a number of um, um, a number of speedboats were also seized and were destroyed. And a number of stores were destroyed in the process. Now, for many NPCs weekly report, we have that 64 illegal crude oil connections. 64 illegal crude oil connections were, you know, removed, discovered and removed in the past week in the Niger Delta region. That's huge. If I want to take you back to a video I made when I talked about, you know, zero crude oil losses on one of Nigeria's largest pipeline, the Trans Niger Pipeline. One of Nigeria's largest and longest pipe and it, a 28-inch pipeline. Over 400 connections had to be removed before oil could be sent through that pipeline because for a long time, you know, um, oil, you know, was stopped from being sent through that pipeline because of the amount of illegal connections on that pipeline. Over 400 illegal connections had to be discovered and removed in April before, you know, um, oil was being um, passed through that pipeline in May. And then the report was then gotten in June that in the whole of May on the Transnational Pipeline, there was a zero loss of crude oil. Now, I can't tell the exact pipeline that this is being um, located in. But in the Niger Delta region, just in the past week, we're talking about last week alone, 64 illegal conditions were discovered and removed. And then there's been a lot of um, pipeline repair, you know, in the sections where, you know, there was a lot of vandalism and, you know, illegal connections. Now, about 77 illegal refineries were destroyed in the Niger Delta in the past week. 77. This is huge. 77 illegal refineries. <sighs> when we have a lot of illegal connections like this on our pipelines, and we have a lot of illegal refineries scattered across the country, we are not going to get the best that we can from the crude oil that we are extracting in this nation that we intend to export and get dollars to build the economy. So this is very terrible. Like, what I mean terrible, the crude oil um, attachment connections, the crude oil theft, the pipeline vandalism, the pipeline, um, um, will I say, di um, di um, diversion. You know, sometimes a whole pipeline is being diverted to a, a whole new zone. You know, terrible things are going on in our oil and gas, probably oil space. And, you know, we are very happy with this government's body language toward crude oil theft. You know, it has been frowning seriously against crude oil theft. The new service chief have, you know, been 
charged to fight Kudo Altips, you know, head on, squarely. And then the private security that have been hired by NPC have been doing an amazing job in actually fighting could all theft within the Niger Delta region. So a lot has been going on and progress is being made. And this calls for this, this kind of videos to be made to sensitize the public and to also give credit to the government and the NPC in fighting could all theft. You know, the NPC even came out last week to tell us that by November would have ramped up could oil production from 1.1 million barrels a day to 1.7. We cannot afford to increase crude oil to 1.7 million barrels per day and still have all this amount of illegal connections in our pipelines. This would be a total waste of investment and is going to scare away investors from our oil sector, which is what we've been experiencing in the past years. So the crude oil theft has really discouraged further investment in our oil industry and it has to be fought square on. So if we're about to reach production to 1.7 million barrels per day, there needs to be zero crude oil losses on our pipelines. So please, whoever is sharing this video and whoever has you know the ability to share this video and to you know get people to you know learn and to understand, we need to ensure that if we are extracting 1.7 million barrels per day, we are actually sending 1.7 million barrels per day to the export terminals, so we can get the maximum amount of money we need to run this economy. So kudos to NPC, kudos to the federal government, kudos to the oil um, companies for you know increasing crude oil production, and we overtaken Angola, you know who was leading in terms of the country with the most uh, highest crude oil production in Africa. Angola over two costs. Not because they have more capacity, but because we lost a lot of crude oil to a lot of crude oil to oil theft, which we are trying to fight against square on. So this is the end of the video, guys. This is the end of the video. Thank you for sticking thus far with us. Please do like, please share this video, okay? Please share this video. Let people get to see and hear more and more about it. Subscribe to this video and please also turn on your notification bell and select all videos so you can get notified whenever we drop videos on this channel and until we see you again godspeed